couldn't even see that Spider-Man there. Wow, this is really cool. I mean, you know, these films never get old. Making them is a dream come true. I've been playing this character in my bedroom since I was a little kid, so being here today, my family's here. I think I've lost them in the chaos of, of this event, but, uh, but I'll find them later, and it's a real honor to be here. The reason we want to make Spider-Man movies and the reason that, uh, that we wanted this film to come after Endgame is it not only ties into that story, it ties into Peter Parker's journey, and we get to see the events of Endgame from the ground level, from a very relatable kid in Peter Parker, and this kid from high school, who also happens to be the greatest hero in the universe. And seeing him step out of the shadow of the Avengers, taking his place as this rightful hero, who also has his Aunt May, and has this girl that he really likes, and has his best friend. It doesn't get more relatable than that. It's been amazing, you know? I'm so lucky to be, I think, a, a very small piece of such an incredibly large, amazing puzzle. Just to know that you're like in the MCU is kind of crazy, um, but I've had such an amazing time, an amazing journey, kind of, uh, I guess you could say, recreating what, what MJ is, but um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's been great. We try to cater to everybody, so the adventure and like the awkward high school thing, everyone relates to that. And then the superhero thing, which everyone is really excited about, which is crazy. The storyline is unbelievable, and they just like, John and everyone else, like the producers, really know what to do. Everything about him, you know, exudes youthfulness, energy. He's got a big, 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 big personality. Just a great kid, too, and his sincerity comes through. So everything about him rings to his age group and to what we all remember, you know, our kind of wanting to be a kid and you're making me grow up too quickly. Obviously, it's a, it's a character we all know and love and have for generations. So generations of us all love Spider-Man. But I think this is the new incarnation. I think the tone of the movie, it's so funny, it's so moving. The action, because of also it being an extension of Endgame and the MCU that we know, it's 40 times the size of what the first one was. And I think it lives up to all those expectations. And I think the group of, of actors is just, is top notch. Whole new Spider-Man. Something we've never seen before, stakes higher than they've ever been before. And a film that follows the masterpiece that is Avengers Endgame. You know, this film is the conclusion to uh, phase three and it is the introduction to phase four and, uh, and it won't disappoint.